Hello everyone, this is Naman Garg from SAG Infotech. As you all might be knowing that we have given certain updates in our income tax software right now. And one of the updates is to email the e-filing details to all your clients. To use this setting, we have to configure your Gmail account to the software, Genius software. So we'll be learning that particular part in today's video that how to configure your Gmail account to the Genius software. So for that, we are required to go in income tax. We need to select the computation. We need to select a particular client. After that, this is a new option for email. So in this particular email button, uh, you will be getting all the information you are required to take whether what kind of information you are required to share to your particular client. So for that, you are required to take on these particular options. After that, you are required to click on this proceed button. As soon as you click on this proceed button, there is a envelope button over there up in the setting. So as soon as you click on this envelope button, your Gmail account setup windows open. So uh, I'll be telling you how to uh, add your Gmail account on uh, how to generate the password. So suppose in the account name, so you need to add the account in the account name button. You need to add this. Then in SMTP server, you require to add SMTP dot Gmail dot com. After that, in username, you are required to use your email ID. After that, you are required to enter your email ID again. So you can just copy and paste it. and you are required to add your email id which you want the reply so we'll adding the same email id we want the same uh, email id to be used in reply purpose also after that you are required to test the connection so click on test connection so for that particular thing you are required to generate your password so in this you are not required to use your normal email password so for that google has changed some settings so for that you are required to generate a new password. So I'll be showing you how to generate a new password for that. So go to your Google account. Suppose this is my Google account right now. This is the manage Google account settings. Click on this manage Google account settings. And this is the security option. In this security button, there is a two step verification button. When you scroll down, click on this and click on get started as soon as you click on get started Google will ask you for your email password to enter your email password first so after adding your email password it will ask for two step verification so you are required to enter your mobile number as well After adding a mobile number, this is the next step for uh, next. Then you will be getting an OTP on your mobile number. Okay. So enter that particular OTP over here in this dialog box. Then now it is option for turn on two step verification. So click on this turn on button. Okay, when your two step verification is uh, turned on, then go back to the settings and you'll be getting a fresh new option of app passwords. Go on this app passwords option. You are required to enter your password again. So you are required to enter your email password. After that, there will be certain options. You need to select the app. So click, uh, click on this select app button. And then this is the email option. So you can click on this mail button. After that, this is the select device option. You are required to select this Windows computer. After that, click on generate. 
as soon as you click on generate there will be a your app password for windows is written over here so this is your password for setting up the email in your genius software so you can copy this particular password click over here in genius software and paste it in this password option then click on this test connection button and click on yes so the software will be sending you a test email to your own email id as soon as you click on yes there will be a uh, either there will be a successful message or a error message so right now the, the status is failed so what you can do is in some cases there is a port problem in this so you can use port as 587 after that you can test the connection again so the email is sent successful now you can click on okay and you can send your uh, emails to your clients now after clicking on update so this kind uh, this server is been uh, added now you can click on back and from this particular email id you can send the filing details to your clients now